Hey guys, and welcome back for the past year and few months. I've been working on my dream Roblox game and today we're going to ruin it. Okay. Okay. Ruin might be a bit of a strong word. However, one of the most compliments I get on this game is the trees. They look really nice and uh, you know, there's just a nice variety. Everything is great and they just take up a lot of space on the map, but they look good. A lot of games don't really have the best looking trees. However, this comes at a pretty expensive price. And no, I don't mean necessarily financially. I mean, uh, I'll show you. If we look at these stats right here, looking in this direction, and we go to draw total, this says 41 million. 41 million, guys, that is insane. Now, I didn't know about this and how to see these stats before I streamed a few days ago, but that is quite an alarming number. Just to take into account, let's go into some other big open world maps. All right, so I just arrested this guy because he was shooting at me. Anyways, looking in this direction on Jailbreak, it's at about 2.8 million. When we spawn into here, looks about the same, around 2.8 million. Now this is with streaming enabled, of course. Like I would imagine Jailbreak has streaming enabled on, and that helps a ton. I want to use streaming enabled as something that helps the game, not a crutch for the game. Now we're in a game called Emergency Response to Liberty County, which is a bit closer to my type of a game. If we open up the minimap and look in the direction of most of the map, which would be this way, and pull up our stats, as you can see, the total here is what, 2.9 million? 2.9 million. And that's looking at the entirety of the map. Once again, streaming enabled is probably helping a ton but it just shows me my game is way too intensive. Now running a few tests, I could easily find the problem, or at least one of them. Check this out. If I delete all the trees and environment assets on this map, which is mainly trees, we're just gonna delete this. And now that it's gone, we went from 41 million total draw down to 5.3 million, which is almost passable. Losing 38 million tries just like this is kind of eye-opening. So the first thing we need to do to start optimizing the game to load faster and run smoother for everybody is replace every single tree on this map. And you can't replace them without having some new ones. Right now we have three different types of trees, so it's super important to keep that variation. However, the new ones aren't going to look as great because they need to be optimized. Here we are in Blender, and I got some help from a guy named Addy. In Blender, they don't look great. They look better in studio. I'll show you in a second. But if we look at this, the old one of these trees was 8,500 triangles. The new one, 468. Absolutely nuts. The case is the same with all of these. For multiple thousands, this one is 7,400. This one is 700. All I'm trying to say is these trees are so much more optimized, so they are going to look a little bit worse, but I think it's worth it for the players to be able to have like a a good feel still and honestly if i put jailbreak style trees in my game like this you guys would have actually demolished me in the comments they get worse this is the better looking tree take a look at these bad boys just imagine if i replaced every tree with something like this highly optimized which is great but in my game's aesthetic well it probably frowned upon all right guys here it is the moment of truth this is the old versus the new trees I used the same textures because I wanted them to still vibe with the map really well and a lot of people liked them anyways and there's just you know a bit less volume a bit less smoothness but overall I don't think we lost too too much for example which I guess I could shrink these I just made them big for now uh for example this and this same style we didn't lose a lot and then we have this one and this one they look all right and I don't think it's as bad as going all the way down to those super low poly triangle trees. So now the question, Mr. Row Builder, how do you plan on getting this tree to replace every single one that's already on the map? Uh, I, I'm hoping Robo can just script something. Like if he can't, it's going to be a long day. All right. But if he can, that's going to help us an absolute ton. Another thing that I need to do that I've been, uh, I started it. I haven't went through every building yet. Let's take this one, for example. If we grab every single piece of this building, you can see. Oh my gosh, there's so much more. 
All right, if we grab every piece of this building, you can see that it casts a shadow, every single piece. And the shadow, well, it looks like this. If we turn off cast shadow and only have it on for the glass, the shadow still looks exactly the same. So we're gonna be able to go through every building and turn off shadows on everything except the main part of the building. And then it'll still look pretty much the same, but once again, be a lot less expensive to uh, everything. So I guess I'll see you guys when I chat with Robo and see if we can make this at least somewhat automated. All right, bros, we are back and we have a command to paste into this command bar. Now I have some good news and some bad news. I think I think two good newses and two bad newses will be kind of all right. The good news, the game should be a lot more optimized. All right, the other good news is we can halfway automate this process so we don't have to pick up and replace every single tree on this map. The two bad news is, number one, the script cannot copy the size and rotation. Uh, it could just copy like what it is. So for example, every one of these trees will now be the same size. And I will have to do that by hand, sort of randomizing everything. That's the one bad news. And the second bad news is the, I mean, the trees, they're not that bad in comparison to how bad they could be. And they are on other big maps like this. So I guess it's not horrible news, but it is sad to see the real nice ones go. And I know I talked a little bit about streaming enabled earlier, but I don't remember if I said this. I don't want to use it as a crutch. Like, I don't want the game to only be smooth because we turned on streaming enabled. I want it to be smooth, and then we turn on streaming enabled, and it's even smoother. Anyways, let's do this command and probably freeze our whole computer. Here we go, and enter. Oh my. This, yeah, this is about, this is about what I... It's done. Okay. Um, you know, it's, <laughs> it's definitely different. Um, that, that's kind of a bit. Are the, the ones in here? These are still the old ones in the plaza, but let's just go around the map. The, the center ones don't look, wait, they're still the old ones. Wait, let me, what did it change? Okay. It changed everything like out here. Oh my gosh. We're going to have a lot of floating trees to find a lot of floating trees. So it changed everything out here. I guess that's all right. We're going to need to kind of redo that command so it changes the street ones since those, uh, I don't know why it didn't change those. And we're going to have to do another one so it changes the plaza ones. But after that's done, I'll show you guys what's up and hopefully there's a big change in performance. We will still have to scale all of these and rotate them so they're not all the same, etc. But we could do that in a bit. All right, guys, Robo, I think, hopped off, but Panda added to the command a whole bunch of stuff. So now the, uh, not the lights, the trees on the roads and the trees in the plaza should be changed. Once again, this is going to be a sad thing to see, but here it goes, man, like a Band-Aid. Ooh, God, they're just, oh, God. All right, so overall, it doesn't look hideous, it could look a lot worse, I guess. We're gonna have to resize and reshape, rotate, all that kind of stuff on a bunch of these trees, bring some up, bring some down. Was all of this worth it? That's the question I wanna answer now. Yes, it looks a little bit worse, but is it more performant? This was before the change, guys. Draw total 42 million 312,603 triangles. We'll just remember the 42 million. If that is not dramatically decreased, I'm going back to the old trees, but it should be. So let's go ahead, control shift two. We are now at 17 million, okay? Now this is still a ton, a lot in comparison to other games, but We've dropped off 22 million, which is incredible. Now, check this out. If we actually play the game with streaming enabled turned on and then check the stats, you guys will see that it is even lower. We've also been going through all the buildings, disabling shadows and collisions on the ones that uh, we don't feel like need them, which is also gonna help with the playability of the game. Um, When you forget to anchor every single tree, yikes, yikes, hold on. So all we're gonna have to do is go through the whole game, uh, add rotation, size, 
make sure they're not floating so much stuff there's more floating <laughs> than there is not floating anyways let's play with streaming enabled so you guys could see the stats when you play with streaming enabled versus looking at the whole map completely loaded in i guess loading was quite a bit faster not gonna lie that's not bad let's go to the same exact angle that we're kind of looking at uh when we do our uh our little test and as you can see total drawl is at 10 million which is still way too much but it is a lot better than 40 million so we're gonna keep figuring out how to get that down down and down we're already loading a lot faster so that's pretty sick and i wonder what i should do next all right guys so optimization has been going uh pretty good to say the least we're gonna have a lot of tree fixes to do there's a lot of them floating that is not a problem though we just move them down anyways let me get through these trees so i actually just noticed that all of these trees the dogwood trees didn't get replaced by our new one here so i think i'm gonna make one more variant of the new tree uh just making it look you know a little more full this is gonna be another game changer on performance i guarantee it dogwood tree let's put that here and then we're gonna delete the last part and call it opt as an optimized all right guys we definitely got to turn on our performance for this current is 17 million let's put that to the side all right guys so i just made this command or i guess i put the command in robo made it and check it out we have replaced all of the old dogwood trees with the new ones that i just kind of uh scuffed up with the other the other mesh that we had and if we go to our normal spot and check out draw total before we were at 17 million and now we are at 8 million one two three four five six all the way down to 8 million guys so so far in this video we've taken the game from i think 41 or 42 million to 8 million oh man i had to take a little bit of a, a little rester okay i went to the lot and practiced on my bike i probably will put a clip in this video anyways guys at the beginning of this video we were at 42 million tries and draw total now we are at 7.2 million which is almost passable i want to get under five i think that would be great and the only things we really lost is a bit of detail in the trees and all the plants slash like like all the little flowers they were really only in the plaza so i will be remodeling those to add more life to this plaza i took out all the rocks and just added rock patches in the terrain and overall the map still looks fine i still have to go through and scale and rotate trees all that good stuff and maybe place a couple more in some spots that i feel are empty but overall from 42 million down to seven is absolutely nuts and once again i hope to get under 5 million before streaming enabled just as a quick curiosity let's go ahead and play the game and see what streaming enabled does to our stats we were at 7.2 million bro that load is nice oh my gosh all right let's go to the same spot from 7.2 all the way down also i know there's going to be some people the old trees looked better we know we know all right but i would rather the game be smooth and have a little bit worse trees all right let's see from 7 million to 6.1 million and in some spots it's 5.7 million so we definitely got a little bit more of a ways to go but we are on a good path and the game is smoother now than it has ever been anyways let's get into some questions question number one role builder i recently got into the into developing and my only good strength is building do you have any tips of getting better at other things or finding people to help well the easiest way to find people to help is offer them money uh if you don't have that you can always offer a percent if you have a good idea or you could try to get some of your friends into developing in the niches that you are not good at if you want to learn them you gotta start slow i don't know everything in fact i'm far from it i can model a little bit i can build a little bit i can do a ui a little bit gfx a little bit but i would consider myself a master of none of them i would honestly focus on one thing and try to build a team around you to get the best outcome question number two hi rebuilder i'm 14 and i never devx robux before i'm wondering if i should keep my robux 200 000, or devx it if keep 
what do I do with it? Uh, what I would do, I don't think you can dev exit because you are not of age. I think you have to be at least 16, but maybe 18. I don't know exactly where that, uh, where that line is. You might be able to dev exit to like your parents' bank account or I don't know. I would personally hold on to it until I had enough to dev exit a lot or until I was of age. That way it just kind of goes straight to your account. But I guess keep it it's 200k you could hire pretty much everybody to make another game and make even more robux anyways that's gonna wrap up today's video if you did enjoy and want to see more content like this make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later